All right, guys, the live baby fish just showed up to my door. Get in the bucket, we're gonna throw them in the tank. There they are. Okay. Okay, so we just got the shipment from Imperial Tropicals. And I'm nervous. Got a bunch of baby fish. First time I ever ordered fish online. Imperial Tropicals. Oh, they're looking good. Oh my God, he's so tiny. Oh, we'll save him for last. So I got a clown, one, one more clown loach. He's looking great, nice size. All right, we're gonna get him acclimated. He's looking really good, actually. Another clown loach. He's a little, he looks a little smaller. It's hard to focus with the bag. Yeah, it's fine. Super pretty though. So now that we, we got, I got two of my clown loaches I've had for a while. They're pretty nice size. So I'll give us four. Oh my God, that one fish is so small. We have a, oh my God, he's tiny. <laughs> I can't even see him. Albino bristle nose pleco. Oh my goodness. He is like a fry. That's okay though. We got a giant tank for him. This is a 55 gallon. I just put my baby angels in there. Two baby angels. I got three baby Corys, three Rasboras, and I got a blue baby blue Accord in there. And I'll show you guys other tanks too. Get him in there. He's so small. He's not even, he's like half an inch. What else do we get? Oh, one didn't make it. Damn. Rummy nose Tetras, one died. How many did you get? Three? It's a pack of three. One is dead. Damn. We're gonna have to get these guys in quick. And then, this is a baby electric blue Jack Aww. Dempsey. Oh my God. He looks super feisty. Really washed out right you can't now. Really but see him. You can see he's him like translucent right now. He's really stressed out. Super small. But he'll be fine in here. All right, so that doesn't overfill. Okay. So one died. And they say to send a video once if something dies. They have a dead on arrival policy. I have a video of it. It was dead when I took it out. That's what you had to show them. So I'll send that to them. Maybe they'll send me three more rummy nose tetras or something. Everybody else looks really good though. I can't believe how small this black pucko <laughs> and that. So thing. little. He's like a fry. You can kind of see this guy right here. Clowns are looking good, nice size. It's hard to see him. All right. All right, babe, while they acclimate, I'll show them out my other tanks. My 55 gallon upstairs. We'll let those fish acclimate. And here, we have my brand new setup, my 75 gallon. We have King, my tiger, Red Oscar. Stace and Ace, my two convicts, which they have bred before, they had fry. The fry didn't make it because of, well I should probably turn the light on, huh? For filtration here, we have an FX4. I just got, let me focus in there. That's Jack, my regular Jack Dempsey. I just put him in here today. He was he was in that tank upstairs and he was all tan. He wouldn't color out. Now look at him. The difference. How black and blue. Then I have a bloom a, a bloom body green terror. That's bluey. 
That's my boy. And I have a common pleco in here somewhere. He's like four inches somewhere. I don't know where he is. It's hiding somewhere. But this tank is a, uh, we got both those up top. Still kind of cycling. It's like halfway cycled. Just, I'm doing heavy water changes. I'm watching the ammonia. Just slight traces of ammonia. But we're, it's pretty much, it's almost there. It'll be all good. Jack looks so good in here. The two convicts, these guys get crazy. Once they start breeding, I'm gonna have to take them out and put them in my 20 gallon. I have a 20 long over here, which I just had. I just had those baby angels in here. I took them all upstairs. Light's really crazy right now. Sorry, the light's looking crazy on camera. But in there, I got like 14 neon tetras, two algae eaters, and I got a clown pleco in there somewhere. And I got two mystery snails. There's one with the pothos. This tank is fully cycled. It's really good. So is the tank upstairs. And I just have a little Title 35 on here. Perfect little filter hang on the back for this. Man, I'm bummed. That Tetra didn't make it. Comes Brittany. Brittany loves all the fish tanks. I love it so much. <laughs> so in here we have a Fluval 307. This tank's been going for like, how long have we had this? Like six months? Mm. Maybe not even. Not even. But it's fully cycled, it's ready to go. But we gotta get these fish out of these bags in this nasty water. But uh, all right, babe, I'm handing you the camera. All right, first, I'm gonna do these tetras because it seems like they're struggling. They're super, everybody's really washed out. Their colors are really bad right now. Obviously, you're stressed out. And once you pop these bags, the ammonia goes crazy. And once the oxygen hits them, Perfect. Got the two live ones. There's a little sponge. Probably has some bacteria in there. Let's get them in fresh water. There they go. They seem fine. Oh, a little baby died, man. Sad. Electric Blue Jack Dempsey. Hopefully he survives. These guys are really fragile, everybody keeps saying. See what happens. Come bring the net. Don't want to put this nasty water in there, obviously. Come on, buddy. Get the sponge out of there. He looks really good, though. He looks lively. He's so little. Him right there. Yeah, oh my god. He's a he's tiny, tiny baby. I can see him. Oh, he's looking good though. Just up off. Let's get this albino pleco, this tiny thing. He's so cool. He's like translucent. He has plenty of room in this tank. Oh, the blue car. Look at the blue car and the blue Jack Dempsey. He's turning blue. Starting to get some color. All right, let's get the one clown loach. These guys are pretty decent size. They're not tiny. Mm -mm. My brows is real small. Oh, he's such a little baby. Come on. Oh. Crazy fast. They'll part they'll pair up with the bigger guys and be really happy together. Be four of them. Let's get this last guy in. Get out. Oh, not the best release. We'll be okay. 
<sighs> Alright, we have we had one casualty. That wasn't our fault. Oh, there's a little little rummy nose. See their tails? They'll get really red noses. Our clown loaches are huge. Look at the blue car. He likes to he likes to Jack Dempsey. Probably thinks he's the same one. Wow. There's a little clown lich here, chilling. And nice fresh water in them. There's the baby Plucko. Oh, clown loaches found each other. Look at them. That's so cool. Water. The back wall is like a mirror, so it looks like there's way more than there is, but there's only four. They'll be so happy together. Feed them a little bit, see how they do. You got it. Grass boars are on it. Rummy nose eating. Grass boar is so fat. if he ate or not. Seems like he wants to. Clown witches are so cool, man. They're like my favorite fish, I think. Alright, so I'm 
back down in the basement. Obviously, when the jack, when that electric blue Jack Dempsey gets way bigger, he could possibly eat those Tetras. Uh, and same with the blue Acara. But that's going to be a long time. I'm going to let them grow out before I put them in my Predator tank because they would definitely get eight right now. Let me flip the camera. So this is the 75 gallon Predator tank. There's Jack. Look at the colors on him. God, man. Jack Dempsey. Maybe my favorite fish. Jack Dempsey and Clown Loaches and Oscars. I don't know, man. They're all my favorite. Oscars are pretty awesome. King, I've had him for a really long time. He's doing great. He's in finally in a nice size tank. He was in that 55 gallon. He just he's pushing nine inches now. But yeah, the plan is hopefully grow out those uh, that blue Acara and that electric blue. Hopefully he gets big enough one day they can be in here with him. The convicts, they're super awesome. They're super crazy. Ace got a little nick. He must he must have got bit by somebody or something. Probably from Stace. They're probably going to spawn again. Bluey is just a tough guy. He hangs in there. And here's my little 20 long. This is where the blue car and the angels were and the Corys just hanging out. I was just holding them, I was holding them in this tank just until I got Jack out of the upstairs tank because he's super aggressive and put him in the big tank he was just hard to catch man i had to do a water change just to get him out super hard to catch super any cichlid man so hard to catch i have a little clown pleco in here that's the algae eater where's he at there he is there he is that's my little clown pleco should i put him up there up there too in that tank Cause honestly, I got these, um, I had a really bad brown algae problem and I got those Chinese algae eaters and they took care of it. They are crushing this tank. This took, all the rocks were just nasty brown. They took care of it. I mean, it's almost clean in like three days, but they're pretty, they're pretty wild, pretty aggressive. And the clown plucko, he's pretty chill. He was kind of boring, honestly, but he got a lot more active ever since I put these algae eaters in the tank. I don't know if he's scared or what, but should we put him up there? Let me know in the comments if I should throw him in the 55. And I wanted to put the Neon Tetras in the 55 too. I think it would be cool. Big. I got 14 of them. But we'll leave, we'll leave them in here for now. Maybe maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll spawn. Never know. They're looking. They're doing great. Yeah, hey guys, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like that unboxing that's my first time ever ordering live fish from imperial tropicals I, I think they did a great job they came within three days i think i ordered them on saturday i believe so maybe sunday i can't remember but came super fast it was 25 bucks for shipping overnight which whatever it's not bad um we had the one dead rummy nose tetra which i mean fish are going to die when you ship them it's just part of the game but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys like this content, let me know. I'll make more videos about my fish tanks. I got three. Probably going to keep it at three. Brittany's going to kill me if I try to do another one. But three is plenty for, for what I got going on. And uh, yeah, man, let me, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.